Hi everyone, welcome back to New Egg TV. My name is Paul and I am once again wearing my Sandforce shirt because I am going to be doing an overview and some benchmarks on a Sandforce controlled SSD. This is the Corsair Force 3. It is the 120 gigabyte version and I'm going to be specific about the model number at CSSD F120GB3A. The A is important because it means that this drive ships with firmware revision 1.3. And let's start off with a quick unboxing to see what comes in the box. Of course, you're going to get the SSD itself, and it's a little clamshell right there. Cor Corsair is also giving you a drive mounting bracket, which is very handy if you don't have a 2.5 inch drive mount in your case. So there's a, yeah, there's the bracket itself, 3.5 to 2.5 inch. Uh, eight screws there for mounting the drive to the bracket and the bracket to your case. And there's a look at the drive itself. As you can see, it's got a flat black finish, uh, the Corsair Force logo, 120 gigs. And uh, inside this housing here, we have the Sandforce controller, as mentioned. The SF2281 specifically is the controller that is used. That is a Generation 3 Serial AT Revision 3 compatible controller. Uh, 6 gigabit per second, so make sure you're using an actual SATA Revision 3 controller if you're plugging this drive in. Also, that will give you trim support, uh, so if you're using Windows, definitely want trim support. Uh, Windows 7, I should mention, is uh, compatible with trim. Here on the back, you can see the uh, standard data and power connectors for uh, Serial AT data and power. And then inside this housing, again, we also have all of the NAND flash. It uses 25 nanometer asynchronous MLC NAND flash inside this drive, and we're going to talk a little bit more about asynchronous NAND flash memory. Uh, finally, for uh, those of you who might be installing in a notebook, it is 9.5 millimeters tall, uh, so make sure you have room if you're going to plan to install this into a notebook. And now for some benchmarks. I plug this drive into my test bed over here, and uh, the important part there is that I'm using a Gigabyte Z68X yeah, Z68X UG7 B3 motherboard that has the Z68 chipset, which has a native Serial ATA Revision 3 controller on it. Um, also, I wanted to point out some other specs from the manufacturer here. This is our product page here on Newegg. And we can see we have listed max sequential read speeds of up to 550 megabytes per second, sequential writes up to 510 megabytes per second, and a whopping up to 85,000 input-output operations per second uh, that they got with their testing. Now, I have performed some benchmarks myself as well, and I have some comparable numbers here to uh, show you. Now, I should mention that they're using uh, ATO for these uh, benchmarks here, and for the IOPS, they're using uh, IOMETER, which unfortunately I don't have right now, but... Uh, what I am going to show you here is uh, my ATO benchmarks, and I ran this at Q depth of 4 and a Q depth of 10, just to try to get some good comparison numbers here. And uh, we can see, oops, let me just size my screens. Uh, we can see comparable numbers here. Uh, as far as the write speeds, we got up right here to uh, just under 500 megabytes per second. Uh, read speeds here, we can see we are hitting that uh, 550 megabytes per second numbers. Uh, same thing here with QDEPTH 10, we got a little bit better numbers there, and, which is why manufacturers a lot of time do use a QDEPTH of 10 when they're running these benchmarks. Uh, but here we can see comparable numbers to what we see on the actual product page as far as specs that you see. Uh, but bear in mind, these are, these are high numbers. These are sequential read and write speeds, and that's where you can see like the highest possible numbers when you're actually benchmarking drives. Uh, now, here we're going to come back to asynchronous uh, memory, which is used in the Corsair Force 3. Uh, I should also mention that Corsair makes a Force 3 GT version that uses synchronous flash memory. But just to show you some of the difference here, uh, and where you're going to see the most is when you're comparing compressible and incompressible data. So next up is my crystal disk mark tests. And uh, on the left here is compressible data. On the right here is incompressible data. Now the uh, controller in here, the Sandforce controller, does on-the-fly compression. And um, when you're using compressible data, you can see our benchmark numbers, especially for sequential reads and writes, uh, get a lot higher. So we can see 480 there, just under 480, and just uh, over 470 there for sequential reads and writes. When we use incompressible data, the asynchronous memory in there doesn't handle it quite as well, so our numbers drop off. We see 211 and 146, respectively, for sequential reads and writes. Now, what does this mean for the average user? Uh, well, it means that if you are doing certain tasks, it is uh, better to go with, say, for example, the uh, Force 3 GT. 
uh, those tasks being stuff that actually does a lot of sequential reads and writes. And that's actually more workstation type activities or if you do video editing. Uh, for the general user, most of what you're going to be doing on your computer, actually over 50% from what I've seen from some uh, tests that I've read online, is actually the much smaller 4K reads and writes. So here we can see 33 and 84. Now those numbers don't quite match up with the big numbers that we see uh, for the sequential reads and writes. That's because they're very small chunks of files that it's reading and writing off of the drive. But general computer use, day-to-day -day type stuff, you're actually going to see this a lot more than you do uh, then you see the big sequential reads and writes. So here we can see the numbers are a lot more uh, comparable. So 33 and 28, 84 and 82, uh, very similar there. And then uh, again, this is also 4K with QDEP 32. Uh, and then we see 110 and 92, 211 and 141. So just a little comparison there. Um, and next up, we're going to show AS SSD. And here we have again some similar results uh, that we saw with Crystal Dismark. Uh, ASSSD also uses incompressible data. So again, the reads and writes 206 and 137. But with 4K, again, we see um, some pretty decent numbers there for 18.84 uh, and 69.95. Input output operations per second, 24,000 and 33,000 respectively. And you know what? I didn't show the uh, incompressible, I'm sorry, the compressible results with Crystal Disk Mark because it does have input output operations per second. And here we can see we actually hit 51,000, 26,000, 20,000 uh, for 4K. Reads and writes, QDEPTH 32, 20,000 for 4K, QDEPTH 1. All right, I have one more uh, benchmark here. This is Anvil. Uh, this I, uh, I snuck off of uh, the website SSD Review, which uh, I've been checking out. Very good stuff over there. But they have an An Anvil. Uh, this is a newer benchmark. Uh, it is a beta version. Uh, but it does lots of different tests, uh, and, and I do like the results that we see. So here again, we can see uh, with compressible data, uh, the megabytes per second, we hit up just about 500 megabytes per second there. For writes, we hit 472. Uh, and then again here, 4K, which is really important for your day-to-day -day use. Uh, first off, the access time is really, really low, 0 0.13 here, 0 0.05 milliseconds right there. Uh, and then for 4K over on this side, 29.05 for reads, 76.88 for writes. So if you're looking at SSDs uh, for, and, you're, and you're just a typical user who's doing maybe internet browsing, gaming, that sort of thing, pay closer attention to the 4K reads and writes than you do to the sequentials. Uh, sequentials are important. Again, if you're doing uh, more workstation type activities, you're reading and writing a lot of data off of your drive, especially if you're doing video editing are using or uh, doing a lot of large file size activities. Uh, but there are our results for the Corsair Force 3. And that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Once again, this has been the Corsair Force 3 120 gigabyte SSD featuring the Sandforce 2281 controller. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.